thank you so much for joining me on uh, the formula for success jaydev uh, we all know what a wonderful ranji trophy campaign you had this year uh, but before that i'd like to ask uh, certain few questions about how your career has panned out right uh, hmm. you got picked up uh, into the indian team for that uh, test match in pretoria you in fact made your debut in south africa before that i saw you on a a tour you really came through the ranks quickly uh, how was that transition into international cricket you didn't play much first class cricket before you played for india did you that's true yeah uh, first of all thank you for having me here as back it's good to be someone from the cricketing fraternity to be honest you know i've been locked in the house um but yeah like you said uh, it has it has been quite quite a, a start to the career i would say you know uh, like you said you know i didn't play a lot of first class cricket or a lot of cricket in that uh, manner in that matter if i can say because you now i just played my under 19s and the next year i played the under 19 world cups and the following year i made my test debut so it was just a couple of years into the uh, international cricketing uh, scene and then i uh, made my test debut so it has been quite a journey to be honest it was a little overwhelming if i can say that um, you know at at some places i did uh, realize that you know wait what is happening i i i was like trying to figure out if uh, you know if i'm able to to go with the flow because you know they always say that you have to like uh, take things as they come and you know go with the flow but it's not always easy right it's easier said than done so i did uh, you know uh, feel at some point that um, i was raw obviously you know everyone is raw at that age and uh, you know but uh, having had Uh, that break very early on in my career i think uh, that's probably the one thing that has really pushed me harder every time i have had a setback um, i have had quite a few setbacks as well you know i made my test debut early yes but then that also was my first setback of the career you know i didn't have a good uh, test match and then i was dropped from the team and then i was picked again a couple of times but then i was dropped a couple of times as well so it has been quite a journey i would say and and all of that has has made me what i am today all of that has contributed to what was a dream season like you said you know a, a dream ranji trophy season but i think i am i'm grateful for all all that's happened so far we will we will get to your ranji trophy season in a bit i want to know a lot i want to know everything about it uh, <laughs> but yeah that's true uh, but yeah. uh, keeping things in perspective jaydev uh, you played for india you transitioned mm-hmm. from under 19 like you said uh there is a team developing here right uh, there is one segment of players who come from under 19 in india mm-hmm. uh, let's say a virat kohli uh, let's say rohit sharma chateshwar mm-hmm. pujara yeah. ishan sharma all these guys are people who have successfully transformed playing under 19 indian cricket to the national team right they've had quite right. a lot of success and then there is another team that's developed which is parthiv patel uh, yourself uh, and a few more i mean uh, maybe someone like a saurabh tiwari all these yeah. guys Uh, been ex- abhinav mukund have been exceptionally talented mm-hmm. at the under 19 level gone on to have greater first class success as well uh, but initially there has been a slump a snub right yeah, under 19 into the indian team and then you pushed out of the team that's a massive setback uh, you rely on coming back into the first class system now how was yeah, the journey yeah. we spoke to parthiv about the journey going back to gujarat uh, mm-hmm. you're not very far from gujarat you are at saurashtra yeah, yeah. how was it uh, how was saurashtra uh, taking you back into the team how did you feel um so i think uh, domestic cricket is something that i have always always cherished to be honest you know right from my first game for saurashtra i've always felt that i belong there um and i've i've felt that it's my own team um uh, i think i i should be thankful to all the seniors in the team for that to be honest i have had good seniors in the team uh, right from the beginning of my career you know i've had guys like uh, Cheteshwar and Ravindra and Sitanshu and uh, Sitanshu Kota and Jaydev Sharma. So I think good seniors always make uh, you comfortable in the team, right? And then you start feeling that the team is your own, and that is something that I now uh, want to do, uh, you know, as a senior in the team as well. I've always um, uh, realized how important it is for a youngster to come in the team and feel that the team is his own. So I have always felt that Saurashtra is my team. You know, I have had. emotions attached to it and when you have uh when you are connected to some uh to to a team uh, to that extent you always want to come back and do do well uh, again for the team right so i've never had uh, a feeling of 
uh, yes, obviously I was disheartened after after being dropped or after having those setbacks when I was dropped from the Indian team. But I always had good times playing for Saurashtra. Right. So that has been a page of um, uh, no, not not really uh, staying in that zone where uh, where I am um, disheartened to a level um, at which I cannot perform well. I think now I've always gone back to Saurashtra. I've I've then had good times with my teammates there. And and I think I have come into the team at at, at a at, um, you know at a um, what I can say at, at a time where it is growing really fast. You know we have had guys uh, coming up in the team who are eager to you know to make a mark for themselves. And you know, the guys are not just there to to play for the Ranji Trophy team and to just make a first class career for themselves. You know they want to perform and go to the next level. So I think. When you have guys like those uh, around you, you push yourself harder, and that's what I have I've been able to do. I think Saurashtra has been that. Uh, and another thing that's uh, that's something that's uh, that's a question that's lingered in my head. Uh, mm. You you played first class cricket ever since you came out of the Indian team and then got back to Saurashtra. But you played for India A. You played for India in between. Then you go back again to play for Saurashtra. Uh, you mingle with top Indian cricketers like Ravindra Jadeja and Shateshwar Pujara. Like you rightly said. For a small state to be able to produce, uh, you know, your, the likes of you, Pujara, Jadeja, and then you've got Dharmendra Jadeja, then someone like a Sheldon Jackson who makes so many runs. Then now yeah. you've got people like Snell Patel coming in who are cracking the doors. Uh, and all these things are happening from a small state. Uh, how does it happen? Is there, a, is there a change in intensity that you guys bring to the ground? Or can you see like uh, international cricket is in a different intensity and the cricket player at first class level is at a different intensity? Um, so I think the for sure because as I said, you know, um, in international cricket, you know how how much motivated you are. Uh, you don't need anyone else to motivate you, right? You know, you right. have you have yourself to uh, to support when you're out in the middle when you're in a t in a tough situation. So in domestic cricket, you obviously need to to uh, you know push those things into some some of the players. You need to bring that intensity. You know, you need to. Uh, create an environment where uh, you know if someone feels low, if someone feels low on intensity, you, they see they see you or they see the team culture which is which is of 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 that level, and then they come into that and 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 then I think so in domestic cricket it's it's probably a little harder to uh, have that intensity right up there if I can say that. But you know when you have guys like uh, Cheteshwar and Ravindra who already played for the nation for so long. When they come in and when they play with with the guys, uh, you know they still try and bring in that that intensity which they have in the international uh, team, right? So then players see them and learn as well. You know this is that this is what they have to do if they want to up their game, if they want to you know uh, reach higher in their careers. So it's always it's always beneficial when you have guys like them uh, around the team, around the team, and you know guiding the youngsters. And you know even if they don't. Uh, Necessarily, you know, teach them something, but you can just see them, uh, you know, uh, doing their routines and and can learn from them. So I think we have been fortunate to uh, to have players who are now going at the higher levels, and you know, I think Chateshwar and Ravindra, for that matter, have been that uh, that uh, pillar of of uh, of strength for Saurashtra, if I can say that. You know, they have they have rightly been uh, the guys who have who have led Saurashtra from that transition. Uh, this team has, you know, has had a great transition in the last ten years, and right. they are the guys to be credited for that. I would say. Uh, it's it's interesting that you say uh, players have done this, but at one point of time, you know, uh, you might not be aware of this. Uh, the previous left armer from Saurashtra, Joban Putra, was around, yes. and, and when Saurashtra was playing as a team, uh, mm. Saurashtra didn't have a representation in the Indian team then at all, and yeah, from there on, uh, people like uh, Cheteshwar, Ravindra Jadeja, and yourself. You have come along and pushed the team forward, right? And then eventually benefited. So it's basically like which comes first, the egg or the chicken? So we don't know that, right? So sure it's basically that. individuals who drive it. Uh, but that's why I'm interested in something that I wanted to specifically ask you. That you mm -hmm. came out of the Indian team, got snubbed. You are extremely comfortable playing for Saurashtra. You're motivated playing for Saurashtra coming back after being dropped from the Indian team. You're completely happy. But then where does this drive come for you to actually upgrade your system? Right, uh, you you hire your own uh, coaches. You work on your technique. You work on your fitness. 
uh, you do things that are not necessarily orthodox. You're looking right. to upgrade your uh, technology, right? As a bowler or as a cricketer. That's How does right. it happen? How does it happen? Does it come from the land of Gujarat? Because so Gujarat seems to have also adapted, adopted something like this. And there are mm. other teams who have done it as well. But Saurashtra, where did it come, come from? You? How did it happen? So, you're talking about myself or the team? Yeah, yourself. Uh, yourself. Because myself, it is yeah. yourself, yeah. Yeah. So, I think the drive, uh, if, I, if I can uh, like go back to my career where I was an 18-year-old kid playing the Under-19 World Cup, you know, when I was playing against Pakistan, I remember how much motivated I was, how much pumped I was. So the drive has always been there since then. I don't think there has been a day. No, not the, not the attitude. I think I'll rephrase my question. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's say something like an upgrade. You hire your own coaches, right? Mm -hmm. You hire coaches to upgrade your skill. Right. Without right. the motivation, without the motivation, you're not here, right? And true, obviously, true. Uh, I'm asking about can, if you can even explain what sort of small upgrades you made in your uh, cricket, mm -hmm. upgrading your skill. Why do you do that? Mm -hmm. So, so one thing uh, is for sure, Ash, by that you know you have to upgrade as a as a professional cricketer in this in this generation. You know, I have. So, I if I look at look back at like you know the kind of training that I did, I consider that training as useless now, as worthless now. To be honest, you know, I I think why did I do all those training? You know, it was not even required for our sport. And that that all comes with the education that you get, uh, with the knowledge that you get from from the fellow players and the coaches, like you said, you know, uh, and, uh, talking to different coaches in the IPL and the foreign uh, guys who come up and and you know bring in their concepts. But uh, you know that's one thing that I've always had uh, um, the inclination for. I would say, you know, to get better. Uh, at, at those routines, you know, the game will take care of itself. I think skill-wise, uh, once you have got that, it's not gonna go. Uh, it's not gonna go away, if I can say that. But um, you know, factors like uh, you know having uh, having the knowledge about my own bowling action or having uh, the knowledge about my fitness routine were the things that I've always worked on. So even if today, if you ask me what is uh, what is there on my mind in terms of growing as a player i would still say that you know i'm trying to uh, i'm trying to learn about about new fitness uh, regimes that people are following and then trying to adapt some of that if if i think that is helping my bowling and now if i can uh, if i can see something happening around me you know i'll i'll straight away recognize if that's the thing that i need to adapt myself you know if that will help me or not that has taken some time for sure you know early on i was I wasn't sure if this thing will help. You know, I've had coaches come and tell me that, you know, these two things are the things that will take you to the to the greatest of heights in your career. But then uh, later on, after doing those two things or after trying those two things, I realized that that's not going to happen. That's some not going to be there. Uh, um, you know, that's not going to help me. So I think that uh, that knowledge about what. Um, what to adapt and what not, what to listen and what not, has been has been always there on the mind, and that probably brings in the drive, like you said, you know, the drive to get better and the drive to, uh, uh, you know, become something which you weren't, you know, to, uh, to progress as a player. Upgraded version. Yeah, upgraded version. I think you are the best example. To be to be honest, I'm not saying this because I'm talking to you, but I've seen you, uh, you know. And and that's even if you are a spinner, you know that's something that I have I have taken learnings out of. That it's not that if you adapt to to a change straight away, even in a tournament like you have done a couple of times in the middle of the tournament, it's not that you know you can't really be successful. You know if if you are confident of that, if you just try that out in practice in training, if you are confident of that, I think it comes out well at the end. So that's that that's the kind of learnings that I always take like to take and. That's, that's actually helped me a lot. Let's dive directly into it. We spoke about how upgrading is very, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, but as a team with so little players, like for example, you have 15 to 20 players, let's assume. And I know most of them. Many of them play cricket in Chennai. They uh, do. How do you do this? You don't have like a structured formula of playing matches in Saurashtra. But how mm -hmm. have you guys been more successful over the last four or five years, constantly banging on the door and eventually winning the Ranji Trophy? Has there been a method or has it also been a little bit of luck? Um, yeah. Uh, so, to start off, I think 
um, the method has been uh, developing in the last decade, I would say. You know, it started just before uh, I came into the team. You know, that's where Saurashtra started making a mark and that's when, uh, you know, players like Cheteshwar and Ravindra came and played uh, at the highest level. Uh, so I think um, if I go back to that, uh, um, to that period where Saurashtra was still uh, a team which wasn't looking to beat the best of the teams, but they were just looking to compete. Yeah, you know, that was the mindset to start off. You know, but even when I came into the uh, into the team, you know, I I saw players were not really motivated about beating, say, for example, a Mumbai or a Tamil Nadu or a Karnataka. You know, we were, you know, we were competing for sure. You know, and we wanted to win, of course, but we were fine if we lost. You know, that was the mindset, and you know that actually changed uh, over the period and over. Uh, the period of a few guys representing India, of a few guys representing India A, and then, you know, and a few guys playing for the IPL as well. You know, uh, uh, quite a few guys have been part of the IPL in the, in the past as well, even if it's a small pool. I think, uh, so I think the talent is there. Uh, if I see players, uh, even in the district level, um, you know, we have very, uh, very uh, scattered structure uh, of of domestic cricket happening in the state, but then even at that level, you know, you see one or two guys every year who are new and um, you know who are still capable enough. You just see that that abilities and that level of of skills in them. But then not all of them are nurtured well. You know, you don't have we don't have a great set of coaches as well at at the at the grassroots levels. You know, there are academies, yes, but then. All of them are not really teaching the right things, or you no, know, uh, or the kids are not getting the right guidance. I would say, you know, the talent is there. So then, whoever uh, you know is good enough to come out of, of of those ranks, then I think is is actually you know capable of is really capable of of being there because he hasn't got that guidance, and and that's that can be an advantage as well. You know, they have been very natural, if I can say that they haven't been really manipulated in terms of their techniques and, uh, you know, in terms of what they have to do to uh, to reach that level. So I think that can be a advanced level of coaching at, at the grassroots level. And, um, you know, so Saurashtra has been, has been a state which was, uh, which wasn't, you know, there competing with the best of the teams. But then I think that's, as I said, you know, that decade, uh, before that decade when, when we won that Ranji, uh, not the Ranji Trophy, but when we won the one-day uh, tournament, I wasn't a part of it. It was just a year before I made my debut. So that's when I think everyone started to to believe, even in the state, even in the association, that you know now we can really push hard. And then obviously, uh, guys started playing and then uh, started pushing at each other harder. Sure, we, we you spoke about the belief where these cricketers came and turned the tide around for Saurashtra, and then you started believing in all that. But yeah. uh, what about the players themselves? Uh, every time, every time I do get you know, uh, Puji for example calls and huh. hears that some of the cricketers are getting opportunities in league cricket that we play in Chennai as well. Yeah, uh, that's 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 amazing one side of it. But what do you do otherwise? Is there a preparation schema that you guys follow? Uh, like Rajkot forever, like even when you played at the corporation ground and the new ground. It's known to be a batting paradise, right? Yeah. How did you manage to turn that around where you started getting outright results? Uh, you got your batsmen to play well against uh, wickets that have a little bit of life. Then you occasionally um, produce a turner. How do, how do you man manage this? Do you have like a camp where you plan all this together? And uh, how is the infrastructure that uh, Saurashtra provides you? Um, uh, so, we don't really have big camps, to be honest, Ashwai. The infrastructure is... And at the stadium, it is really good. You know, we have great facilities now at the new stadium. But before that, at the old stadium or in other districts. So at the moment, I am in Port Bandar, and um, you know, if I if I have to go and and practice, you know, there are uh, there are not really good facilities where I can go and train with say twenty good uh, uh, people out there as well. So it's it's the same everywhere in in, in all the districts except Patchcourt. So I think uh, the infrastructure is not great. You know, if you see the results, you would you would come and you would want to see that you know something has to be working right. 
for a team to be doing so well in the last decade or so. so there is there is this very interesting story I read somewhere, uh, Jaydev, in, in from mm. the World War Two uh, times that mm. it had some of the best, you know, uh, boxers, light heavyweight mm. champions. Mm. They never went on to win any medals for Germany in the Olympics. Okay, they kept on mm. researching on what they could be done, and then mm. finally, once uh, Hitler said, "Okay, we will put all these boxers together, four of them." and make them fight against 10 from another country and he right. said this is a war between two countries and you will have to go against each other all four of them came together and they beat 10 guys right so right. there is nothing as powerful as coming together for a cause right uh, in this modern day and age it's very easy to move away from you know we talk about money we talk about purpose we talk about being professional and all that but yeah. still the power of wanting to come together as saurashtra is yeah. something that clearly stands out for me uh, when, when I'm speaking to you. I'm saying, you and Chateshwar have planned out and you ask guys to come to Rajkot so that they can use the facilities. That is unbelievable. That's unheard of. And uh, Chetha, before we part, uh, I have so many more questions. I don't know yeah. if I can do another one. But before we part, tell me one thing that you, you reckon a team that wants to win Ranji Trophy must do and it is a non-negotiable. Uh, well, it's difficult to point out one thing. Uh, if I you can, can point out a couple, no problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I can relate to this season itself, I would say one thing is uh, so a, a captain is a very very important person in domestic cricket for for that matter or for any um, uh, international cricket as well. But here, you know, because. Um, you will have coaches coming in and going out, right? You won't really have uh, a senior coach who is there since 10 years. If that's the case, then a coach can do that. That. So, I, uh, for that matter, I was there with the team um, this year, even when Chateshwar and Ravindra were not there. And I know these guys since the last 10 years. So, I know them personally. It's not, it's not just that I know them, um, you know, how they play. So, it's very important to have... Uh, have that uh, is, that is relationship. Say, is it safe to say stability of the leadership group? Um, yeah, yeah, you can say that stability of the leadership group and to maintain that sort of uh, of relation, if I can say that, with the players, where they are, they, where they are, where they are free to express themselves. You know, I have right. felt that myself when I have not been comfortable in a team, I'm not able to perform to the best of my abilities. Right. And so, when you have an environment where uh, you know, you are not bothered about how you will be judged or how you will be. You are always being judged, right? You are always being judged in a professional sport. But when you have that feeling around yourself, that's when you can perform the best. So I can say that, yeah, that stability. And uh, you know, to be honest, I'm confused. I, I get a, so, I get so many things in my mind when you say what is there to be done if you want to like. We have just won it once, but it has been special for sure. I think this season. It's still an incredible I, effort, Jay. I, I, and it I, has made it has given me so many things uh, on the on the on the way, Ash. Right, that I never imagined that I would learn this much in in going into a season. It's you know, it's, been be a, it's been a, it's been a dream for me ever since I made my first class debut. I've been in a couple of semi-finals. My team has gone to the finals. I've not been a part of the yeah. final. I've been so disappointed that Tamil Nadu has not been able to win a Ranji Trophy and. That is something that will always stick in my head and you definitely managed to do that for Saurashtra at such a young age. I think Cheteshwar will surely put that into your head every now and then, I, now that he has I, I just, one. I just, I just hate you for giving <laughs> him the opportunity to go up, which is what I hate. Uh, but having said that, uh, I will try and resurrect it in whatever little bit of career that I have left and whatever time I have left with Tamil Nadu. But uh, it's been a delight talking to you, uh, Jaydev. I'm, I'm, I'm so jealous of you for having done that. Uh, and I hope and I wish that this paves the way for you to come back into the national team. All the very best. Thank you for joining me on this episode of uh, The uh, Formula for Success. Thank you, Jaden. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Ashwai. It has been a pleasure to be talking to you. Thank you. 